In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use guides in a Facebook group. By the end, you'll know how to better organize your content and make it easy for your members to find things quickly, all right? Let's get into it. What's up, busy people? Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners streamline their social media so that they're focusing on the few tasks that get big results, so you actually do get more results in less time. If that's something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell, that way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use guides in Facebook groups. I'm going to show you not only how to use them to organize your content, but also give you some tips on the types of content you can organize in groups. And I want to show you another organization tool that's in Facebook groups that I don't see anybody using and Facebook doesn't really talk about, all right? So I'm going to share my screen now and walk through all of this with you step by step. So I'm showing you this in our free five minute social media community Facebook group where I don't actually have any guides yet. So you'll be able to see it from the beginning. So if I look here on the menu, you'll see even under more, there is nothing that says guides. So if that's the way yours is set up, the first thing you need to do is go into settings. And then depending on your group type, so go down here under add extra features. If your group type is set to general, you probably won't have them turned on by default. Um, if you have social learning, you probably will, but the rest of these, you wouldn't have them turned on by default. But all I have to do here, since I have a general group, come down here and you'll see guides, again, under add extra features, organize posts by subject to help people learn new things. I'm gonna click add. Now it just took me to my guide section, which you can see here on the menu, but I'm actually go back to my settings here and show you one other part. This is turned on by default. You may or may not want it on. You can allow members to track their progress. So if I put five lessons in here, then you can basically have each member say, okay, I've seen this one and mark it as done. So then if they come back later, they know what they've seen and haven't seen. So that is turned on by default. I just wanted you to know it was there in case you felt like it shouldn't be for whatever your use of guides is. So if I go back to the guides page here by clicking it on the menu and you can see there's nothing here. I can click start a guide and you can have multiple guides and I'll show you another group I have with a bunch of guides in it here in a second so you can see how they all look. But you can have multiple guides. First thing you want to put down is the subject of the guide. So this could be, so this could be for me, it could be Instagram trainings and everything could be there about Instagram trainings or this could be module one, if you are doing a course, for example, in a Facebook group, then you can add a guide description if you want to. It's completely optional. It would go there. Hit save. Now it shows up here over on the left, and this is what people will see. Everything that goes inside of a guide is an actual post. So if you are uploading a new lesson here, you could click create post, give it a title, write something, add a video, a GIF, whatever you want, just like normal. So that's, I'm not going to show you how to post on your Facebook group. You already learned how to do that, hopefully. And Alternatively, you can pick any post that's already done. So for example, I could take this post right here. I'm gonna click on the timestamp because that's gonna take me specifically to that post instead of the whole feed of posts. And now I can click this little three dot menu and it says add post to guide. I do that, choose the guide that I want it to go under. So this will go under module one. And then I might call this lesson one, for example and I hit save. So if your content is already in your group, you can just go through and add each post to the appropriate place. So now you can see here's module one and there's lesson one and it just becomes this post. So the, every time I add another lesson, it's gonna show up in here. And now I'm jumping over to this other group where I actually have guides built out for my profitable pages and profiles workshop. And so you can see the first guide is profitable pages and profiles. And so this is the actual workshop that people watch. Then I have specific breakdowns. So this was about setting up your pages and profiles on different social networks to convert more sales. And so inside of here, you see there's one for Facebook business page, Facebook profile, Instagram, LinkedIn. So these were specific trainings. So that was guide two. Then guide three was the live Q and A's that we did. And then guide four is where I was putting the bonuses. Now, I wanna show you another way that you can do this. If I didn't want, like for example, you can see the newest one gets added on top. So I've got Q and A three, two, one. I can go through and I can reorder the posts here after I clicked on those three dots. And I'm just gonna drag and drop, drag and drop. So now I've got Q and A one, two, three. Hit save. 
You can also come back in and you can edit the guide from this menu. So again, this is guide three. I could again, change the name, change the description. Down here under each one of these, I could remove the post from the guide. So if I click that, you'll say, you know, it'll ask you, do you wanna remove it from the group or just remove it from the guide? You can remove it just from the guide if you didn't want it there, or maybe you were doing an updated version. And then the other thing that you can do with each of these is you can make them optional. And it just adds a little optional tag there. So people know if they're trying to hurry through something, they don't necessarily have to watch that part. It's just there if they need it, for example. Once you've got your guide set up, if you wanted to share it directly with, for example, your email list, and again, if this was a private group, they'd have to be members of the group, but you can just come up here and click on the URL, and it'll be facebook.com slash group slash whatever your group is slash learning underscore content. You can send them directly to this page. As far as how to organize this, with this specific workshop, I had the main lesson as guide one, then the specific networks as guide two, Q and A's as guide three, and then the bonuses as guide four. You could do the whole thing in one guide. Uh, I might organize by categories if this was a different type of setup, like I might have Facebook trainings, Instagram trainings. As I showed you earlier, you might have module one, two, three, each as its own guide. You might even have, if you have multiple audiences, you might have videos for this part of your audience and videos for this part of your audience. So lots of different ways you can organize in here with the guides. I wanna show you one more way that you can organize things in a Facebook group. And I don't see a lot of people using this, but it works really well for us. And we actually just use this internally at 5-Minute Social Media. So this is the 5-Minute Social Academy group where our paid members are. And what we use to organize is topics. And so you can add a topic, Facebook recently changed them to be hashtag topics, but you can add a topic to any post in the group. So for example, if I am going through and I see a question and I don't have time to answer it right then, I will find it here. Let's choose one. This is not a question, but I will click on the three dots. I will click edit post topics, and then I will add the topic follow up. So this is one that we use. And then I can come through once a day and answer all of the posts that I marked as follow-up. If somebody has a longer question, for example, that we can't answer in a Facebook post, then we answer it on one of our Q&As. So you can see this, if you can read it, it says answer on Academy QA. So then we'll add that topic. Once I answer it on the Q&A, we'll change it so it says needs Academy replay link. And then somebody from my team will come and reply to everybody that asked a question with a link to me answering their question in case they weren't there live for the Q&A. And the neat thing is, once you have those set up, I can click on any of these topics. So for example, we're doing our next 5-Minute Social Academy Q&A here soon. I can click on this Answer on Academy Q&A here that's on the side of my group, and it brings up all of the questions that people have submitted for me to answer on the next Q&A in one place. And then when we're on our Zoom call answering, I pull this up, I share my screen, and then everybody else can see the question as I'm reading it and then answering it as opposed to just listening to me read because a lot of people are very visual. So those post topics are another way that you can organize your content internally or externally. The last thing I wanna show you with this is, for example, let's say this was a certain topic. So whatever your group is about, could be anything for mine. Maybe it was, you know, Instagram was the topic. Well, then up here in the address bar, you actually have a specific URL that you can send people to. So in my emails, if this was, let's say, all Instagram stuff, I could send a link and say, hey, see all of our trainings about Instagram in our group, and I would send them directly to this link. They wouldn't have to search for them. They wouldn't have to look for the hashtag on the side, click on it, anything like that. So every time you have one of these topics or hashtags, but Facebook calls them topics and groups, click on it, and it'll generate the specific URL up here in the address bar that you can use. I hope that helps you get your group organized. And if you want to get your group more engaged and get your group reaching more people, we teach you how to do that inside of 5-Minute Social Academy. So if you want to upgrade your training, it's only $5 to check out full access to 5-Minute Social Academy, and then $29 a month if you decide to continue. You can find all of the information in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, give it a like, drop a comment. I love reading your comments. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. And if you're looking for more help growing your business with social media, check out the video on the screen right now.